welcome. Here we got the setup. My gaming chair, as you can see. It's a gaming controller. Bruh. Very cool. <laughs> All right. Starting off, Q&A numero dos. Wow. First question. What's the weirdest thing that's happened to you at the gym? Okay, so let me think. There's been a couple weird things that have happened to me. <laughs> but this one all happened in one day, so I guess I'll tell this story. So one time, I was going to the gym. Nice. And I was near the entrance, and I walk up, and there's this guy. I'm just presuming he was homeless because he was on a bike, and he had a very large trash bag full of clothes and things and it broke so i was like oh no and he looks at me and he's like hey can you watch my stuff i have to go get a new bag so i was like not in a rush or anything i was like sure so i stay and i watch and maybe like five minutes later he comes back with a new bag and he's like oh thank you so much and i'm like no problem dude have a good day i go inside the gym i'm working out doing something out of the corner of my eye I look and I'm like, oh, and the guy, it's the guy, it's the bad guy. Bruh. And he comes over to me and he hands me a little piece of paper and I'm like, okay. And so I take it, this was a long time ago, so. So he hands me a little piece of paper and he grabs my hand and goes to like kiss it. No. And I was just so stunned. I was like, what? is happening. It's like, oh. anyway, then he just like walks away and I was like, what a mysterious character. Just like, wow. And I open the piece of paper and it's his phone number. Lo and behold, surprise, surprise. I didn't call him. I didn't text him. Ooh. I just kept him in my mind forever. And I hope he's doing well. And that was probably the weirdest thing that has happened to me at the gym to date. This question, are guys often mean to you in the gym slash judgmental just because you're a girl? Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think I've ever actually had a real life experience in the gym where anybody has been mean to me because I'm a girl. Uh, there was one time where someone said something. I honestly think they were, the guy was like roid raging or something. He, it wasn't directed at me or because I was a girl. It was because I was using a bench Bruh. and he wanted his partner to use it. And I was like, I just got here. I'm sorry. I have like four more sets. And he was like, rah, 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 I hate this gym. Rah, rah, rah. And I was like, then leave. <laughs> um, yeah, but no. No one outside of the internet has ever made a derogatory comment to my face in the gym. It's, it's widely all either positive feedback or nobody says anything. So this question is a, more of a command. Do the stanky leg. I'm just going to try because I think the stanky leg is a great movement. Bruh. And I'm not that good at it, but I would like to show you. <gasps> Alright. Oh my god! If that was bad, I I don't want to hear it. Please, you'll break my heart. Let me try again. No! God, please, no! <laughs> okay, the second attempt was worse. Alright, moving right along as we do. This question... Who hurt you, and is this caveman no longer with us? I think I'm gonna make this question way deeper than it needs to be. <laughs> um, so I think anytime I've been hurt by someone, I kind of halfway have myself to blame. Are you serious? Because there's only been one time where I was hurt because they did hurt me. They cheated on me, and I was like, man. <laughs> But the, uh, the other times that I've been hurt, it was more, I was expecting somebody to be a person who they were not. So I was hurt because my expectations of them and my idea of them in my mind was not the reality. And they were just the person that they are. And it broke my heart that they weren't who I wanted them to be. 
So, <laughs> that is that. This question, somebody asked my skincare routine and if I follow any specific makeup styles. Admittedly, I don't think I have the best skincare routine. I do wish it was better. I wish I was one of those people who like to use nice lotions and knew what things meant and understood chemicals. You know what I'm saying? I don't though. So, L for me. But this is what I use. Honestly, I don't really care what I get. I just kind of go to the store and look. I use this one app though called Yuka and you just like scan barcodes and it's supposed to give you a rating on how good a product is chemically for your body. Right now I have this clean and clear morning burst. I like this one. It works well for my skin. It's a pretty popular one. Uh, sometimes I also use this Kosh cosmetics it's on gorilla mines website it's from gorilla mine so if you want some of this stuff code beef <laughs> after that i like to use a vitamin c cream i just bought this one i actually don't know if it's gonna be good but i'm assuming they're all kind of the same bruh let's smell it let's see if it smells like oranges oh my god it's orange uh, oh it smells bad Smells like grandma's. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like grannies. <laughs> Smells like grannies. Actually, I kind of like it. I kind of want to taste it. Ooh, it smells like I want to roll around in it. Anyway, I'm not going to taste it. And so I'll put that on at night. And then I'll also put that on in the day and put some sort of sunscreen. <laughs> over because I feel like the sunscreen spreads better if I put on something else first, at least for this sunscreen. For my makeup, I do get this question sometimes. I do usually wear makeup when I work out only because I'm not going to go out of my way to take my makeup off and my makeup makes me feel good. So why would I take it off, you know? But I only wear eye products because I don't know how to do skin products. I'm just not good at that. I wish I was. People who are good with like foundation and that kind of stuff, they're so skilled. I just am lacking of that. Um, so right now, I was used just using this one, but it's running out, so I had to get a new one. I got this one. Ugh. None of this stuff is waterproof. I heard a rumor once that that was like worse for your eyes or something, so I just don't get it. Anyway, they don't run. The reason why I use both at the same time right now is because this new one has one of these brushes, and I'm not a fan. Mm, doesn't look good to me, so I prefer the ones with those brushes. If you know, you know. There's a huge difference. Then my wings, sometimes I don't do a wing, sometimes I just smudge it around. Bruh. Usually when I smudge it around, I do it with a pencil. It's stuck. Pencil. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what kind, just any kind. I never know what I'm doing with something like that. I just roll the dice. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't work out, I go back to CVS and buy something new. And I really like using makeup kind of like markers for that, but all my makeup markers are dying. I don't know if that's what you call them. That's what I call them. So I got one of these. One of these. It makes me feel like a wizard Nani? when I use it because it's, or like an ancient philosopher because you like dip it in the ink and then you go to work on your ancient scripts which are your eyes so that's my makeup and my skincare okay this was not a question but somebody just sent me these cute little text guys so i'm gonna show you because they're cute i don't know what it is it looks like Someone flexing with like a little side eye and then someone with their buns out, maybe? You be the judge. Let me know what you think. Wow. Isn't 
Isn't that precious? Why is it that you block out Gorilla Mode products? What this person is talking about is sometimes when I repost things, like if you've ever bought a Gorilla Mode product and tagged me with code beef and I have been lucky enough to see that tag, I will usually repost it in some way to kind of, I don't know. It's just like a social media appreciation sort of thing. Like I appreciate that, so I'm gonna shout you out. Um, and I try my best to see all of those. But there has been a lot of times when I've reposted somebody's story that just had the Gorilla Mind checkout screen and my repost it's flagged Bruh. for violating guidelines. So then it's like a strike against me and I get in trouble and I have no idea why. So as a precaution, whenever I see those, I'll usually, it's actually significantly more work on my part than just pressing like the repost button. I'll screenshot the stories, go to a separate app, edit the stories to put a gorilla on them so that the algorithm or the AI or whatever doesn't see that, and then I'll reshare it and tag. Wow. Uh, it's a lot more work, but I don't know. I think that people appreciate, maybe, I hope. I don't know. That's just what I do because I don't want to get in bad standing with Instagram. <laughs> Next question, do you have any siblings? I do, I have. A brother and he is incredibly lovely and he's great and it's just me and him it's just me and my brother what are your thoughts on why some men feel intimidated by muscly women um I don't know this is I guess just my speculation but when I see somebody hating on somebody else for something like that I think it's usually coming from a place of insecurity. Ooh! Like they feel insecure about themselves and when it's a man who's being just hyper aggressive and negative towards a muscular woman for no reason, spewing out negativity towards her, uh, I think it's usually they're just very fragile in their masculinity and they see this woman as a threat and they've probably convinced themselves in their mind that being muscular and being like that is a masculine trait and they might look at this woman and say she's good at this she might potentially be better than me at this you know so i don't like that i don't want to lose to a woman who should not be better at me in this particular field so that's what i see i just see somebody who's maybe hurting inside <laughs> Could not be the case for every situation, but that's what I think. Okay, this next question. Regular significant other or gym bro? In my dating history, the majority has not been gym going, especially to the degree that I go to the gym. So... I don't care. Bruh. Yeah. Next question. What is your take on CrossFit? I actually did CrossFit for maybe like a month, I think, when I was in high school. <laughs> and I stopped because the class was at like 6 a.m. And that was usually around the time when I would go to the gym. So I liked working out the way that I liked working out more than I liked doing CrossFit. So that's why I stopped. And I think, at least right now, CrossFit is kind of the scapegoat or a scapegoat within the fitness community that people just want someone to shit on. And it happens to be CrossFit at the moment. But if you enjoy CrossFit, freaking go for it. Like, that's awesome. I think that there's, there's no right and wrong way to work out. There's really not. It's just your preference. I... Personally, don't think I could get into CrossFit like that, but I respect someone who does because they like to do it. So, this question, what do you consider to be your weak areas in terms of muscle strength? Honestly, probably all three of like the major compound lifts, the bench, deadlift, squat, because I kind of just started doing them 
I didn't really do them for 90% of my fitness journey thus far, so I feel like they're really weak compared to where I'm sure they could be. Right now there's something that I'm not happy with. Anyway, if you made it this far, I'd like to say thank you and have a beautiful rest of your day or evening or whatever it happens to be and I'll see you around. Okay, adios.